Shabbat Shalom, sisters. Welcome to the Virtuous Women channel. Today, we're going to be talking about proud at art. The proud at art. It is when your heart is lifted up in a way of arrogancy. When you are when you are full of yourself, having too high an opinion of yourself. In Proverbs chapter 6, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16 to 17. Proverbs chapter 16 verses 16 to 17 says these six things though the lord ate yea seven are an abomination unto him a proud look a lying tongue and and hands that shed innocent blood hallelujah a proud look god detests the proud Proud at heart will not take anything that is of God abode or to live for God. Proud, pride, proud at heart will only want to be and live for themselves. They take them themselves first instead of the most high first. In Micah chapter 6. Micah chapter 6 verse 8 says, he has showed thee, O man, what is good and what doth the Lord require of thee, but to do justly and to love to love mercy and to walk humbly with thy God. We can only walk with the Lord, God Almighty, a higher, humbly with humility. Hallelujah. What do we get when we are not proud at heart or when we are proud at heart? It pays us to have humility. It pays us to be humble because we we'll always see the mercy, the favor of the Lord God Almighty when we are humble. When we come in humility, humility is the one that will make us want to seek him, wants to praise him, want to acknowledge him, want to adore him, want to live for him, want to obey him. It is only humility. When we are proud of ourselves, mm, I've gotten this. Just like, um, um, what's it called, um, this king that was so proud that he said he has built Babylon by his own might. Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah, comes to mind now. Just like him that was so proud. He said he has gotten um, a great Babylon by his own might, by his own power, by this, by that. Forgetting that there is a God that ruled in the affairs of men. Hallelujah. Reward and judgment for the pride and the humble. Surely his conness, but he giveth grace unto the lowly. When we are lowly in heart. He will give grace. You will enjoy him. It will be easy to walk with him. Because proud at heart, he knows them from afar. That is what he says in his word. He forget not the humble. And um, the first one says, surely he is connect, but he giveth grace unto the lowly. That is Proverbs chapter 3 verse 34. And this one says, he forget not the humble. That's Psalm 10 verse 12. He will never forget the humble. He has given us in the palm of his hand. That is what he says in Isaiah. So he will never forget the humble. Hallelujah. He giveth grace to the humble. And that's James 4 verse 6. He resisted the proud. God resisted the proud. Hallelujah. He resisted the proud. There's nothing we're going to get. We're going to gain from the most I, I am that I am a higher. There's nothing we we'll gain from him if we are proud at heart. If he see any traces of being proud, 
in us, he will move away. May God not move away from us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, Yeshaya. Amen. Whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. That's Matthew 23, verse 12. Hallelujah. When we are humble, he himself will exalt us. He will take us high. He will take us out of the dungeon to eat with the kings. He will take us high. He will put us the place that he has, he has proposed for us in the purpose of life. Hallelujah. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy and evil way and the forward and the forward's mouth do I hate. That sounds in Proverbs 8 verse 13. Better is a little with righteousness than great revenues without right. That's Proverbs 16 verse 8. It is better to have little with righteousness because part of righteousness is being humble. Hallelujah. If you are proud, God wouldn't count that as righteousness for us. Hallelujah. A man's pride shall bring him low, hmm. but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. That's Proverbs 29 verse 23. Hmm. A man's pride do bring him low. Hallelujah. It is important to be humble. Humility is the key. Humility and obedience walk hand in hand. It is only humility that will make us obey the way, the laws, the ways of the Most High. Hallelujah. Though the Lord be high, yet and he respect unto the lowly, but the proud, he knoweth afar off. See, he knoweth the proud afar off. He doesn't want to stay with any proud heart. He knoweth from afar off. Hmm. Hallelujah. And that is in Psalms 138 verse 6. He respects, although God is great, is mighty, but he respects the lowly. He respects the humble. Hallelujah. The humble, being having humility is the key. It is the humility in our hearts, in our life, in our ways that will make us obey him. And when we obey him, it is the key. God is God of um God is God of um love. God is God of mercy. He is irrespective of anyone. He just answer prayer, follow the one and show the way to the people that have humility. And humility will open the door for obedience. Hallelujah. Everyone that is proud in art is an abomination to the Lord. Though and join in hand, he shall not be unpunished. That's Proverbs 16 verse 5. See, he even have judgment for the proud. May God sanitize our spirit, our soul, our bodies. May he sanitize our hearts to be humble before him. Amen. For the sin of their mouth and the words of their lips, let them even be taken in their pride and for cursing and lying which they speak. That's Proverbs, that's Psalms, sorry, that's Psalms 59 verse 12. And when we go to John, when we go to First John chapter 2, First John chapter 2 verse 15 to 16. Chapter 2, verse 15 to 16. It says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. And verse 16 says, For all that is in the world, the lust of flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, is not of the father but is of the world so when we know that we don't love the world that we love the lord then we will have humility we will walk with him 
we will serve him, we will live for him in humility. Hallelujah. Bring proud at heart will not make us obey the Lord or follow his way. Mm -mm. He will, because that, pri that pride is from Satan. Oh, this is how I am. Oh, it's my life first. Oh, this life is just once. Uh, I have to live it. I don't have, maybe when I, it won't be when I grow old. Maybe this, maybe that, then I'll have time for the Lord. It is pride of the heart. May God help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles chapter 32. We're going to see example of King Ezekiah. King Ezekiah, King of Judah. So we'll go to Second Chronicles chapter. 32 verse 24. We start from 24. It says, In those days, Ezekiah was sick to the death and prayed unto the Lord. And he spake unto him, and he gave him a sign. But Ezekiah rendered not again according to the benefit done unto him, for he is for his heart was lifted up that's pride pride came in in his heart his heart lifted up therefore there was rot upon him see he got a rot from the lord because of the lifted up of his heart pride of his heart and upon judah and jerusalem even the kingdom he was ruling they got rot of the lord because as the king is ruling as the king wish, the the subjects did the same thing. Um, verse twenty six says, "Notwithstanding, Ezekiel humbled himself for the pride of his heart. See, he repented. Hallelujah! He humbled himself for the pride of his heart. Both he and the inhabitant." of Jerusalem so that the wrath of the Lord came not upon them in the days of Ezekiah and verse 27 says and Ezekiah had exceeding much riches and honor after he repented God forgave him and blessed him honor him hallelujah and he made himself treasures of silver and for gold and for precious stones and for spices and for shield and for all manner of pleasant jewels he got rich he got honor when he repented that means when we walk with the lord or when we are of the lord and pride can, comes we should quickly let it go we should quickly neglect pride so that we can walk with the lord so that we can see blessings from the lord so that we can fulfill the purpose why he has sent us to this earth amen may god help us may he enlighten our our spirit may he enlighten our inner eyes inner man to honor him to follow him to walk with him in humility may we be able to humble to be able to lay all before him so he can Take it from there and shine light in our path and show, uh, show us the right way and put us in the right place where he has proposed for us. Amen. If you have listened to me up to this hour and you have not given your life to Christ, Yashaya, say this prayer after me. Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus in Hebrew is Yashaya. Christ Jesus, Yeshua, have mercy on me. I believe in your death and resurrection for me. Forgive me of all my sins. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Put on me garment of salvation. Renew right spirits within me. Grant me grace to follow you to the end. Amen. I pray with you through Ezekiel chapter 11 verse 19 says, 
I pray Ahaya shall give you one heart. He shall put a new spirit within you. He shall take the stony heart out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. Amen, amen, and amen. Walk with the Most High in truth, in righteousness, in uprightness of heart. Shalom.